Kill all humans. Productions. Ah, so this is Dead Space 3. And this is probably the best thing about Dead Space 3. Chapter select. Very fucking handy. Very fucking handy. But we're actually going to discuss why I'm not going to make any Dead Space 3 videos. So let's go to chapter 6. Why the fucking hell not? So this is actually my... From a save that's on the second time through. Would actually be considered as round 3. Under the old Dead Space 2 regimen. Um, what? How is that? What? I wanted to go to the beginning of chapter 6 please. So have I got a... What? I really hate this menu. Because once you've made the choice of what save you want to play, you cannot go back to the main menu. Or at least I've not found a way to go. This should be... This should be where you first meet Ellie. So have I got to go to chapter 5, bomb out, and then go chapter 6? Because chapter 6 should be where you first meet Ellie. So let's have a look. I did... But I was in that fucking room. I was in... I was in the room. Because it should start you. Right where... <clears throat> I've discovered Ellie and her companions. Isaac... Oh, no, 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 sorry. This is it. This is it. Chapter 4. This is it. Here we go. We're in. Here we go. Yep. Oh, that's right. On my classic game, yes. I'm on chapter 7. Because I'm also going through classic. Which is a fucking pain in the arse. Hooray! But we didn't get to see the... Um, the amazing, the amazing video, which was why I wanted to start at this friggin' chapter. Because the first reason I'm not going to be playing Dead Space fucking 3 is because Isaac now looks younger than in Dead Space 2, even though time has passed, so naturally he should be older. Unless they've invented technology which can reverse aging, in which case, why did they have to buy Ellie an eye? Why didn't they just grow her a new eye? Because surely they've mastered DNA if they can reverse the aging effects. Well, fuck you, crate. And this is the fucking second reason. Scrap metal. No! Upgrade should come from nodes. Not fucking scrap metal. Or somnatic fucking gel. And all the other fucking various bullshit they want to fucking give you. Like transducers. And what's the other one? Titanium. Great. And the bench. The bench is now more than just a bench. Reason number three. The bench is now fucking everything but suits. And why, why is there a... Because there it says, share, sell and manage your equipment. Craft, share and sell consume. Why have two different ways to sell shit? It makes no frigging goddamn sense. Because the first time, I, on my first playthrough, I always went there to sell things and then I realised you could just go here and sell shit. So it's like, well... What's the friggin' point? <sighs> Reason number the four. <sighs> See that? It says why. Downloadable content. You are not connected to EA servers. Any purchased resources packs will be applied to the current save file. Will only be applied to the current save file. Do you wish to continue? What? Hang on. What? So if I buy something, it's only on this save? Okay. Oh look, you've not given Microsoft any money, so you can't actually buy anything. Hang the fuck on. I bought this game in good faith, now you want me to pay more money so I can get stuff for the game that I've already bought? How is that even fair? Was somebody at EA on some serious fuck up, fuck up drug? Because th this is bullshit dude. Oh, sorry, you're not connected to the internet and paying us money, so you can't have extra stuff. I pre-ordered this, so I should have access to uh, an electric energizer or some fu I haven't even fucking bothered, because the new weapons are fucking bullshit. Craft weapons. What? No, that's not how it worked. 
You picked up fucking blueprints in the original fucking death. And what is the pitch black? Team favourite. What? Which team? Who team? When team? What? I'm not on any team. I'm Isaac Goddamn Clark. I'm one man. One man cannot be considered a t and tubes. What the fuck's that when it's at home? And tubes. Uh, okay. That's what it, the electric galvanizer I think it is that I got. I haven't even bothered. I haven't even fucking bothered. Because sweep the leg. What? And an anchored bolas. The slam chop. The December. What is all this fucking bullshit? Did they hand the development of this game over to a five-year-old? And just say, yeah, come up with the worst shitty ideas you can. Because this is just terrible. This this really is fucking terrible. And what's, what does this dot mean? What the frig does that dot mean? So they're, they're the weapons that I got. Compact Elite Planet Cracker with Blowtorch. You get the Compact Elite for playing Dead Space 2 and having a save on your Xbox or your PlayStation. I don't know if the PCs get it. Why haven't I got four weapon slots? Why have I only got two goddamn weapon slots? Because when you play it on Classic, you're now fucked because you can only carry two weapons. Because in Classic mode, you can't have these dual purpose weapons. You can only have the line gun, the seeker rifle, the flamethrower, the plasma cutter. I just went with plasma cutter. I'm going to do classic with just the plasma cutter. You know why? Because the plasma cutter is fucking awesome. And what's this? Heavy standard pulse rifle with Mark II overclocked magnesium afterburner. Essentially a fucking blowtorch. And it's just, it's just fucking terrible. It really is fucking terrible. Because this... This weapon... Okay. It fires... Plasma that's electrified. How do you electrify plasma? Plasma is the fourth state of energy. So how do you electrify that? It also does electric damage on the flamethrower. Hang on a minute. How do you electrify fire? I... It's terrible. And if I could have shown you the video... That would have been reason number five why I'm not playing it. Because Ellie looks like she's had some serious facial surgery. Just like in between Death Space 1 and 2, Nicole had a serious fucking attack of ugly. Ellie's now had a serious attack of ugly between 2 and 3. What the fuck happens over at EA? Or Visceral, who actually develop it. Do they just think, we'll take this character that people thought was cute, and we'll smash them in the face with a fucking lump of 2 by 4 until they're nigh on unrecognisable. Jesus fucking Christ. And like I said, there's no way now for me to get back to the friggin' main menu. I can quit out as far as this, but I cannot now select to go back any fucking further. Because if I've changed my mind and think, oh, actually I want to play on my classic save, I now can't. I'm absolutely hosed. The only way to do it is to crash out to the fucking dashboard and then bomb back in. That clock's seriously wrong, by the way. For some reason, if my Xbox isn't connected to the internet, it always thinks it's 12 o'clock when I turn it back on. I don't understand why that works. Maybe someone from Microsoft can tell me how, how that works. Because my Xbox is constantly getting power, so it shouldn't forget what fucking time it is. But now apparently every time I turn it on, it thinks it's midday. Well fucking done. It's in April 2005, I think the date comes up as or something sh equally as stupid. But this is fucking bullshit. This really is terribly bullshit. Now, I was going to do it on the hardest setting, which is actually hardcore. Which is, play the game without dying. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll do that. But you've got to do it from a new game. You can't even do it from New Game Plus. But strangely, when I start a new game, I have access to the... Uh, Level 5 engineer suit, I think it's called. It's called the retro suit. That's always in my store. No matter what happens, I've always got access to that. So does that mean I can have any of the suits? Because that suit is overpowered. It's got all, 
all inventory slots automatically unlocked. So the first time I get to a suit store, I just switch into that suit. And yeah, quite frankly, fuck off. If I find a way to gay the game up, which I'm going to, I will do hardcore mode. But until then, no, fuck off. You can't die. No, that's bullshit, dude. Limited saves, yeah, I can understand. But do the whole game without dying? Because this game is seriously gay. I will later on cut into some video settings, uh, some uh, in-game settings, where you can seriously gay these enemies up. And they ain't got a fucking Doctor Who what there is. I really, I really do think this is the last time I've been buying a Dead Space game because... I can now not get all the achievements because some of the achievements are for online. And I'm not paying Microsoft just so I can get achievements. I'm sorry, it, it ain't happening. That is fucking terrible. And I refuse to buy it on the PlayStation just so I can get all the trophies. Because I would still then not have all the achievements. I would just have trophies, which... I'm stuck with Xbox because I like the bleep bloop when you get an achievement. The PlayStation one, quite frankly, doesn't measure up. And as for Steam achievements, yeah, no, yeah, no. It's just gay. But let's see what's in New Game Plus. So after you've played the game first time, you unlock these. Classic, which I'm working through now. Co-op play is disabled. Thank fuck for that. Fuck off with your fucking co-op play. But it's... You're on hard, and it unlocks the devil horns. Which is essentially foam finger. But, unfortunately, there's a known bug in the game where you can you can go all the way through classic, unlock the devil horns, and then it can uh, crap out on you, and suddenly you haven't got access to the devil horns. Pure survival. This is where you have to craft health packs. Yeah, which is gay. And then hardcore. It's, what? And what? No. Unlocks retro mode. So retro mode is going to be something even fucking worse. That's not even the fuck. That's not even end game. This shit here, not even end game. It, it, and as for speed running, because because you can do this, it really nullifies doing a speed run because you can just do one chapter then load another save, do another chapter, then load a different save, do another chapter, load a different save. What's the fucking point? That takes all of the skill out of doing a Dead Space speedrun. If you look at any of my speedruns, they're all done in one take. Start to finish. No deaths, no visits to stores, nothing. Just go from start to finish, done. But this, no, it really, it, it's, for me, no, this is the last Dead Space game I'll be playing. I will 100% it. I doubt there'll be any videos other than this one because, no. Somebody ought to go over to Visceral, bitch slap them motherfuckers and take the development of Dead Space off of them. Because, the stupid puzzles! Grr! Some of them, like that fucking In Space Meccano one where you have to rebuild the show. What the fucking hell were they thinking about? Them hacky, you thought them hacky puzzles were bad. Oh my god, I did not know you could turn the fucking camera while you was in this mode. That's uh, kind of pointless and stupid. Who fucking thought that was a good idea? Oh, there's, there's just too much broken with this game. Now I know I could connect to the internet and download a patch. Maybe, possibly. But, no. If you're going to release a game, play test it thoroughly before you release it. People would have quite happily waited an extra two months for a finely crafted product rather than them releasing this half-broken bullshit and then going, oh, well, actually, we'll release patches later on. It'll be all right. No. The gaming industry needs to fucking wake up. Hmm. Oh, it's terrible. It really is terrible. I'm just waiting for fucking Lara Croft now. <laughs> Because I can't stand to play this game for more than an hour at a time because it's just annoying. I feel no empathy for the characters, not even Isaac Clarke. I don't care if he lives or dies anymore. Really, I don't. The story is fucking confusing because it takes place, spoilers by the way, it takes place 200 years ago and in present. And when I first played it, 
I paid very close attention to the story. I read all the documents that you pick up, watched all the videos, listened to all the um, audio files. And then at about chapter five, I was like, I don't care about this bullshit anymore. I just want to get through the game. And it wasn't until my second playthrough that I started watching all the videos again and listening to um, all the audio logs because you can activate them and just walk off. And you, as soon as you go through the door, you can't hear them anymore, but you've collected the fucking bleep bleep thingy. No. No, unless I have a very good reason to do the... Um, I'm going to have to do it online, aren't I? I'm going to have to find somebody to play the co-op sections with me just so I can 100% this bitch. Fucking hell. And I'm going to have to pay Microsoft that money to re-enable my account just so I can get some goddamn achievements. Uh, I'm going to go and play some Far Cry because quite frankly, fuck this noise.